All right, well, it's that time of the year. It is snowing outside. So I now have to uh, take this awesome 1999 Honda four tracks, four wheel drive, 300 four wheeler. And I have to put the plow on it. Kind of waited till last minute this year, getting around to it, and now I have to do it. It's actually snowing. We're supposed to get two feet of snow. I, oh, awesome. However, I don't think this is going to work very well in two feet of snow, but it's not the point. I'll still use it for everything else around here in the meantime and plow. Well, up to, well, a good foot, maybe a little more. Needless to say, let's put this sucker on there. Let me show you how this goes. It has a couple ears on the top. Actually, this is going to be the bottom later, and the pins come right out. There's a chain here to raise and lower this. So all you have to do, very nice. I mean, it's a little heavy, but you pivot it around it. Pivot. Pivot a little more. Give it a shove there. And let's walk it into a better spot here first before we drop it down. Okay, now we can just lay this down in front of the machine and pull this back under there. Normally I would do this outside, but again, it's snowing, so rather than laying the, the ground on the snow, I'll do it in here. All right, let me get this stupid pin off. That's one of these weird ones. Okay, now I have the pins off. Okay, I can't even begin to tell you how great this plow is. It works perfectly for everything around here. For the most part, cleans the snow very nice, very easily, quick. Just just run up and down the driveway on the floor in the snow. Better than, uh, definitely better than shoveling. I think way more fun than uh, snow blowing. Now, okay. What I need to do here is line this right here up into these and then put the pin through it. That's pretty much it. Piece of cake, I gotta do that and grab the pin here. It's got two spots, one on each side for that. Ooh, don't lose the pins. That'll ruin your day trying to plow. All right, did I line it up right? And try to remember to put that straight so I can get it in here later. Okay, that's in. And like I said, I try to put the hole straight so I can line the cotter pin up. Cotter pin's in that one. Now we move to the other side. So, so far we have like a minute and a half into this. Hook this up, and we'll be done and ready to go. I was gonna fire this up, but I think I might wait a few minutes. It's probably a few hours. I don't know. I'm not even able to use this at all today. But I figured I'd show you guys how to put this all together and how it goes. And then once this is together, all you do is use this handy dandy lever here. Raise and lower it, and it works slick. I did have one that had a, uh, a same four wheeler. It had a winch set on it. These are weird, stupid cotter pin here. They do work well, but I guess I ran out of other pins. I had one that had a winch on it to raise and lower the plow, and I do think that was a much better setup. It was more precise. Wow, this is a really hard pin. All right, that pin's on now. Let's spin that around. So this is the bar right here. This here raises and lowers your plow. Piece of cake. I said the other one I had a little winch switch. And it was, you could do fine adjustment with that. So, now to the front. I think it's one of these bad boys. All right, so this is what we have to do here. And I like to hang these upside down so they continuously hold themselves on there. So that's a little bit of a trick to get these on. Good thing to remember though. Oh, seriously, you're not gonna let me through that? There we go. Well, that's that. Now the plow is on, officially. Tighten this up, which I hate how this goes up like that, because it always seems to want to uh, come loose easy. Loose easy, there you go. All right. So with the plow on, piece of cake, just pull this lever, the plow goes up and down. So the cool part about this plow, click that, tip it to the side. So now you can pitch the snow, kick it wherever you need it to go, and it does the same thing going the other direction. This machine will plow itself until it has no more traction to go. And uh, that's about it. Works awesome. Get another inch or two, I'll take it out and show you.
Well, we got our snow. Perfect amount for getting out here to plow today. We got about five inches, and I really love plowing that much snow with this thing. It works just right. It's kind of the sweet spot for it. Pushes right along, very easy. Uh, if you get a lot of snow, it takes you a lot more time. This will just go very quickly and get washed right out of the way. So uh, let's fire up this uh, 99 here. Little Honda four tracks. Super fun machine. Like I said, it's a good time to plow with this. It gets you outside and, uh, well, you move around enough on them that you stay pretty warm. I like it. A lot more maneuverable and easy to use than a truck. I mean, take that truck, for example. You put a plow on that and try to get around here with everything, it's, you're missing a lot of spots. So, let's turn the gas on here and the choke and fire this thing up. Ah, usually the electric start works, but it's been sitting a little bit. Let her warm up. Now, this is the manual control here. All you do is you just pull this lever and it raises and lowers the plow. You can see that go up and down, piece of cake. Zip this up. All right, like it angled like that. Okay, like I said, it's a 99 Honda Ford Trax 300. It's kept in great shape because we really just plow with it for the most part. Look at that sucker go. I just grabbed a whole ton of stuff right there. Pushes like nothing. And you can see why I say this is five inches is perfect. It grabs it, toss it right out of the way. It's almost effortless to do this. Let's take a look at what we have. So here's our swath. Right down on through. Looks great behind us. Right down to the ground. And in the front, grabbing a nice pile and a good curl. Said uh, you just adjust right here to swing this back and forth. And this machine, you just give it a little boom and she'll go, she'll grab and push. Great thing, they'll go until they run out of uh, tra traction. They always have enough power, they just run out of oak or grip, or anything. snowbank there. Let's see if I can move that a little better since out of my way. I love when they plow their spots and screw up mine. Okay. Well, since we're where we are, let's how do I want to do this one? Depending on how much snow you have, sometimes I'll start in the middle and kick it or start on the ends and then kick the middle into that and then again. That's probably what I'll do this way, I get it all out of there. Let's go right down the middle with this. We don't have a whole lot of snow here. by doing that one first, it gives you a lot of room to push this snow, as opposed to having to push a big pile. Okay, building our jump here. Make sure we use our snow. strategic things to do with the snow around here, like make jumps, bank turns, and fun stuff. So we can play with, you know, four-wheelers, three-wheelers, snowmobiles, all the good toys. See, now this curl will go where that was, and then I have room to push that out of the way. Or at least very easily push it out of the way if there was more snow. Almost kind of like 
like tree flowers. feeding the chickens. show you what I was doing here with this. All you do is pull this little lever and turn. Piece of cake. Uh, and we'll go to the side here for this because we need to go up the driveway. What the heck is that? Oh, there we go. Boy, that was stuck in there. Okay. does a great job of plowing. Piece of cake. Final clean of the driveway here. Nice and easy.
right, good. Now I'm getting something done here. And I think like right here is the prime example. I have a narrow little spot between the truck and I can fit this thing exactly where I need to go. And not worry about hitting stuff backing up or getting stuck with it. You never really get stuck. all kinds of tricks to it how you want to do it if you start on one side and work all the way over by the time you get to the end you could have such a bank you don't have enough grip and weight to push the bank so that's why I start kind of in the middle and then do that and push the rest back over onto itself again it just take some practice a couple snowstorms you'll figure it right out that first storm you get a lot of snow and you go oh my god <laughs> Seems like you keep pushing snow and it doesn't go anywhere. So while you're sitting there, make sure you click that subscribe button. Check out our other videos as well. We do a lot of cool stuff here, like these jumps. We jump them with the snowmobiles and three wheelers. But all right, I'm gonna call that good for what that is. I think that's all I'm probably gonna need to do right now. There it is, right there. What a beautiful machine. Just perfect for everything you wanna do around the house with one of these things. Just enough power, just enough grip, the right size, the right weight. Yeah, and as long as you're not pushing more than a foot of snow, I mean, it'll do a foot of snow, it'll just take you a while, and if it's a heavy, wet snow, you're gonna wanna do it while it's snowing, keep up with it. Other than that, I mean, these things are great. Great, great, great machines for what you can do with them. Well, make sure you have a great day. Go out and plow. Don't hurt yourself shoveling. Don't have a heart attack. Don't do anything stupid. Go get a toy, play with the snow. It's a lot better that way.